Okay, so this right here is a character that I made in Moho Pro 13. She's mainly made out of vectors, and I think the only images in this puppet are her sleeves and her skirt. Other than that, she's completely made out of vectors. And as you can see, she's pretty complex. All these bones that are outside of her body are all smart bones, and they all control a certain aspect of her body. So smart bones are really great because they actually greatly speed up your animation process. So for example, I'm gonna make a quick animation right here. So I'll give her a starting pose. So this right here will be her starting pose. And I want her to look to the left. So I'm gonna use this head turn. I'm gonna move her pupils. And you know what? I'll, I'll go ahead and move her shoulders so she won't look so stiff. And I'll use some of the body turn as well, as well as the arm. So let's see. There we go. So let's see what that anim animation looks like. So that's pretty good. Did you see how easy that was? I literally did that in a couple of seconds. But in Moho Debut, smart bones are not available. So what exactly are you supposed to do? How are you supposed to create animations like this without any smart bones. Well, you're supposed to use the tools that are available to you and you can still make animations like this. It's just that it's gonna take you a bit more time and it's gonna be a bit more tedious. So let's go ahead and jump over to Moho Debut and I can show you how to get around not using smart bones on your puppet. Okay, so here we are in Moho Debut, and as you can see, we're going to be using a much simpler character for this example. Now, the issue a lot of people quickly run into when they can't use smart bones is whenever a character has a complex joint, the joint usually breaks. So, for example, this character's shoulder right here is a complex joint. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a little animation so we can see this joint break. So I'm just going to move this arm up. And as you can see, it's already broken, but let's go ahead and see what it looks like animated. It's still broken. So how exactly are we going to fix this? Well, we can't add new points. We can't draw over this layer right here because in Moho, you can only draw on frame zero. So what we're gonna do instead is we're actually going to animate the points that make up this part of the character. So. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So I'm going to use the layer selector tool so I can quickly find this part of the character. As you can see, this character has a lot of layers. So instead of fishing for the layers in the layer panel, I'm just going to use the layer selector, select that part of the layer or that part of the character to find that layer. And now, as you can see, the layer is now selected and we can now access the points. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this to frame 12 and I'm going to use the transform points tool to move these two points that make up my character. So that way this sleeve is now over the shoulder. So just select it and drag. There we go. And as you can see here, there's now keyframes that represent these two points moving. So if we actually play out our animation now, that part of the character is now animated, but this shoulder part right here is not, it's still broken. So we need to do the exact same thing for this layer right here. So again, I'm just going to go to the layer selector, select that layer, move to frame 12, and I'm going to use the transform points tool to select this point and bring it up so it's no longer broken. And let's see what our animation looks like. So that's pretty good, but if I look like around, yeah, frame seven, this shoulder and this arm are still not connected. So I'm just going to add in a, another keyframe. So I'm just gonna drag this down. And there we go. Actually, it's kind of broken right here still. No, yeah, no, no I'm gonna add in another keyframe. So if I let this play out, this shoulder bone is now fixed. And actually, I'm going to edit. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and edit this sleeve. For some reason, it's getting bigger and I don't want it to get bigger. Thin it out a little bit. There we go. That looks much better. 
So let me select on the bone layer so we can get rid of the points. And there we go. So that's how you would fix that. But let's go ahead and lower this character's arm. So I'm going to lower her arm on frame 24. And as you can see, we have to animate it going down. So we have to do the same thing again. So select the layer, select the points, and instead of dragging the points manually, they're actually going to be returning to their original position. So all I need to do is just select reset and the same thing for this point and they're back in their original position. So let's do the same thing for the neck. That point is already selected and we're already on frame 24. So let's reset the points. And now it's back in its original position. So there we go. We now have our character's joint fixed. So for this character, her elbow is good. Now, if your elbow joint is um, not looking correct, I recommend watching this video by Poptugi. They have a really good video on how to create smooth joints like this. And they have some other tutorials that are just really, really good. You should definitely look at them. And you know, here's a quick tip for you all as well. Let's say we want our character's arm to go back up again on frame 36. So let's go ahead and animate it going up. We don't have to manually move this part of the character again. So we can actually just copy and paste the frames we made. So let's go ahead and move to the sleeve layer. And instead of manually moving these points like we did before, we can just copy and paste the frames from frame 12. So this frame right here, we're gonna copy it to frame 36. So I'm just going to left click and drag to select this keyframe, right click, and I'm gonna select copy. And all I have to do is move my uh, playhead to frame 36, right click and select paste. Now they're in the correct position. And we can do the exact same thing for our little shoulder area right here. So let's go to our shoulder layer and we can actually copy and paste all these keyframes. So again, left click and drag, right click on the keyframes, select copy. That's my cat in the background. And we're gonna select paste. And this is our final frame over here. So let's go ahead and just move our final frame to frame 36. So, so there we go. We don't need to manually move our shoulder every time. We can just copy and paste the keyframes that we know are in the exact same position. So there's a quick tip for you.